Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday, the middle of the uh, work week here. Jumping on, 5.30 p.m. here, California time, April 10th, 2024. A little information here that uh, I came, ac uh, came across shows a potential impact here to the Earth, at least on one of these models here, from an asteroid named... 2024 G J two, a very small asteroid, not uh, a huge one at all. Roughly about nine. Well, it shows uh, three meters here in diameter. That's going to be roughly around the uh, nine feet or so. Not a huge asteroid, but I was looking at this uh, orbital viewer here, and all models here show pretty much a direct impact uh, which is expected around the uh, time frame of tomorrow let me get my specific information here it looks like this newly discovered asteroid again designated 2024 gj2 will fi fly past the earth at a distance of just 0 0.05 lunar distances and that's uh, 0 0.00013 AU, astronomical units, uh, or 18,700 kilometers, 11,620 miles. On April 11th, 2024, at 1833 UTC time. So the current UTC time is, going, is uh, April 11th, 030. So we just jumped into the uh, new U, uh, UTC time. So it won't be until tomorrow, well, technically it'd be tomorrow afternoon or just before noon, it looks like here for the UTC time of 1833, because we're currently at, uh, right here, April 11th, again, uh, 030. So it's an interesting little thing. It's not a big, definitely not a big asteroid here, but look at this model as I put this into view here. This is the uh, from one of these uh, near Earth object sites, and it does show the Earth here and 2024 GJ2. If we put this into motion, it pretty much just goes right into the Earth, <laughs> no matter how I look at it. Um, and on this model, it shows it coming out the other side, but that's not going to happen if it does happen to uh, impact the Earth. Let me bring this back right about here. See how it's gone into the earth? I can't see any other areas where it may have missed us. It just goes directly into us. And um, the center of this impact, it looks to be somewhere over the Pacific. Let me go back in here. And uh, I don't really play around with these too much, but I... I got a little information here on this asteroid and it took me to uh this viewing site here which is kind of neat you can play around with all sorts of different uh, asteroids and whatnot and check out the close approaches but 2024 gj2 appears to go directly into us um it looks like let me see here somewhere over the atlantic ocean is what it looks like at least according to this weather, uh, to this model here. But it's odd because on uh, some of these other sites here, it shows um, these are the future uh, potential close encounters with this asteroid. Um, oh yeah, here, see this is the Earth Impact Risk Summary. The Torino scale, which bas basically measures the hazard uh, and the potential and probability of impact uh, to the Earth, is at zero. So, obviously, if this thing does hit the Earth, it's not going to be that big of a deal. It's only a nine, um, a nine-foot asteroid. Here it is again. They compare it to roughly about the size of a car. Again, 2024 GJ2. But it's interesting, though, because uh, this may put on a little show if it's nighttime. I may be able to see that enter in into the uh, atmosphere. 
Now, this asteroid was uh, first observed on April 9th, so literally about a day ago. So very, you know, fairly a new object. Nothing that big. I mean, obviously, a nine-foot diameter car size object speeding in uh, pretty quickly could make a, a neat little show up into the upper atmospheres uh, atmosphere. Um, if we compare this to, you guys remember the Russian meteor that hit uh, back in 2013, I believe it was around February. That one uh, was quite spectacular. It lit up as bright as the sun. In fact, even brighter. And uh, that ended up hitting the ground, or at least a chunk of it did. Uh, that meter itself was 19 meters. So compare, you know, the uh, three meter to a 19 meter one. And that thing actually exploded into the uh, the atmosphere. But a chunk did reach the ground, I hear. Uh, it did create a huge shock wave that uh, I guess the explosion was so powerful that it traveled around the globe twice much stronger than a nuclear bomb so uh it'd be interesting to watch i mean again when you look at the um this toolkit here near earth object toolkit it shows what looks like this asteroid uh directly hitting earth here's from the side a little bit we put this into motion kaboom it gets swallowed up uh, by the Atlantic Ocean out there. You guys see that? I can't find a whole lot of information on it right now. I mean, if you type this into Google, the um, 2024 GJ2 asteroid, there's not a whole lot of information on it. There's the Watchers site, Watchers uh, news site that's monitoring a little bit of it. Um, it is mentioned here in the Near Earth Object website as well but no news articles or anything like that really covering it uh, this is on this is a different asteroid 2024 bj that was um a space rock 68 feet wide uh, that was 354 kilometers away but this one here apparently is um gonna only be 11,000 11,000 miles, which is going to be 18,000 kilometers from the surface of the Earth. At least that's what this shows from the uh, NASA website. But looking at this one here, I, I don't see that. I see a direct a direct encounter with it. Let me uh, bring this back up here. Even on the Earth, sun, on the, uh, Earth plane here, it looks like it goes directly... Uh, directly into it. I'm just going backwards here a little bit right now. See? That just goes like literally right into... Now this one shows a little bit different. That one shows the Pacific. I'm not for sure why. Maybe it's because we're zoomed in a little bit here. But uh, that one shows somewhere over the... Eh. Maybe over by uh, north of New Zealand or Tonga area. But that's, uh, to me, it looks like a direct impact. I mean, it's not going to be that big of a deal if it is a uh, three meter uh, diameter asteroid. But let's see if it's nighttime or whatnot, uh, it'd be quite the show. Might be something to catch there on cameras. But uh, yeah, I can't find a whole lot of information on this. If anyone else has anything. Uh, that they feel inclined to share about, uh, please do so in any, in the uh, comments here, because uh, yeah, I, I just can't find a whole lot of information on this. Again, 1831 UTC time of April 11th. That's going to be tomorrow, probably around um, 11 or so California time. Uh, flyby speed of this asteroid. Let me zoom it up here a little bit so we can read this. Um, 
There's a flyby distance, 12,000 kilometers, 0 0.03 lunar distances. Flyby speed, 14.4 kilometers a second. That's pretty fast. Size range between 2.3 to 5 meters. So it could be potentially a little bit bigger than the 9-foot uh, estimate there. There's a discovery date on the 9th. And, uh, it's, yeah, just kind of crazy. Let me see here. I can't click on these images, but we can get a little glimpse of it. Here it shows 2024 GJ2 going just to the north of the Earth plane on this model. But well within the, um, the satellite areas where the, uh, a lot of space or the uh, satellites are up there in space. That's the flyby trajectory geostationary orbit in the red line so definitely within that uh within that area so i guess we'll just see i figured it uh, might be something cool to uh spread about here on the channel we try to cover a lot of space weather events and whatnot but uh, goodness i don't know it just gets to me it's a little weird if this thing was i know it's not this big in comparison, this is not the size of the object here for sure. That that put it the, roughly the size of the moon, or maybe a little bit smaller. But you know, it does go in there, and that blue line does go. That's the path of the. Uh, all right, let's see here. Yeah, that's the path of the uh, asteroid. There, we follow that blue line. They intermingle dead on with the uh, Earth orbit. And, um, you know, hard to say, but it looks like maybe around the Pacific area somewhere around this area of uh, just before Papua New Guinea area, it looks like. I'll see if I can find out any more information on this, but uh, there's not a whole lot if you do a, a quick search on it. So fairly new asteroid. Wanted to put this out here, give people a heads up. To me, it looks like a direct impact. Either way, a nine-foot asteroid not going to hit the ground, but could create a neat little show in the skies above should uh, that be viewed during the uh, nighttime hours. So we'll cover this uh, a little bit later on this evening, folks, but uh, yeah, kind of crazy stuff out here. What's going on with uh, earthquake activity? Let's see what we got. If we've got anything major going on right now. Um, Texas area has been seeing a little bit of movement out here outside of the Big Spring area. Of course, they've seen a 4.4 earthquake earlier this morning, followed up by 2.7 here in the uh, same area around these oil fields, quite a few oil fields out there. Uh, also, a little bit of movement out in New Jersey once again. The latest one shows a 1.9 earthquake aftershock sequence out there. Uh, aside from that, really no major earthquake movement happening right now. California lighting up slightly out here on the uh, Nevada side of the border. A couple of earthquakes throughout the Southern California area. Just continue to watch that and see how things play out. I mean, it's fairly neutral right now. Not a whole lot of uh, larger quake activity, but uh, could be the calm before the storm out here potentially. All right, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later. Of course, Ast uh, the uh, Iceland area still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity up there. Let me uh, check out their latest webcam view real quick and see what's going on. That's still at least one active vent. Doesn't look like really anything new has changed out here. Uh, this was put out yesterday here, just kind of talking about the uh, potential slowing down of the lava flow from this eruption. But as you've seen on the webcam there, things are still active across that area. Earthquake activity across the rift zone boundaries here. Uh, elevated out here. Look at this. Got some further movement going on. A little swarming activity out here uh, across these rift zones and uh, to the north or to the northeast here of the Grindavik area as well. So things could get further active 
in terms of the um, potentially the amount of volume that's going on down there on the ongoing eruption, we could see this thing ramp up slightly. We'll have to keep an eye on it. All right, folks, we'll be back here a little bit later on this evening. Again, um, if you want to check this out for yourself, I mean, I don't, maybe I'm doing something wrong on here, but it looks like a direct impact at least um, from this asteroid 2024 GJ2. We'll be back a little bit later on this evening, folks. <laughs>